so I wasn't going to start the recording like this. But guys, <laughs> Leo just texted her and asked Aspen, does she want to go out on a date with him? What? <laughs> oh my god, he wants to go out on a date. <gasps> oh gosh, what do we do? She's going to be like, no thanks. <laughs> Hey Dick vs. Shifty and welcome back to the channel for another part of my Sims 4 series, Finding Solace. So guys, as you saw in the beginning, we had Leo text Aspen and she he was like, do you want to go out on a date? And she hit him with a polite no. She's like, oh no, I'm busy right now because she just felt so awkward. She was like, what? He wants to go out on a date with me? And as you all can see here on the couch, we have Madison. She is visiting. Now, before I get started into talking about the LP and things like that, these next two episodes are going to be pre-recorded. So they're actually going up before I post the video that would have been posted the week before. So I haven't even seen any comments yet. Um, but yeah, I'm doing a lot of pre-recording because, you know, it's my son's first Christmas. So it's going to be really hectic for me, very busy. And I'm just, I'm probably not going to have a lot of time. So yeah, it's just going to be really hectic. But yeah, pre-recording. Yay, we love it. <laughs> um, but Aspen invited over Madison because Madison wanted to come over and she's talking to us about her love interest guy. And we're gonna go over to her house later on in this episode but um yeah they're doing great i think that she said that he had proposed to her i had no idea they were even dating but apparently they were dating and he proposed to her and she said yes so we're just super happy for her and she's actually gonna help us decorate our christmas tree so let's go ahead and decorate with the um what should we do let's do the garland first and we're gonna try and do popcorn and cranberries i think that'd be super cute i never use this one so yeah, let's get Madeline over here to help decorate. They're so cute. I'm so happy that Aspen has friends now. Hopefully you guys like Madison. Like I said, I haven't seen the comments yet, but Madison's such a cute sim and she's super close to Aspen. And I think it's just because she's a very um, sweet girl, you know, Aspen loves that about her, but, and she's kind of like the opposite of her. Oh gosh. No, y'all stop. <laughs> Oh my god, this mod. Um, but yeah, let's finish decorating the tree and get it all situated because why are y'all- stop talking. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? Alright, and now let's see. I feel like we should do the ornaments and since we did the popcorn and the garland, let's go ahead and do red and gold. Yeah, with Madison. Cool. And guys, just as a little update, Amelia had proposed the idea to Aspen that she is possibly going to be moving out very soon. Aspen's really sad to hear that she's going, but she's also relieved because you all know that, you know, Amelia likes to throw parties all the time and it was kind of getting on Aspen's nerves, but... You know, I think that Aspen can actually afford to live here now on her own. So she is going to be moving out that way. Aspen can now pay bills and be super independent. But as you saw, we had the notification pop up that she's going to be going to work very soon. So let's hurry up and decorate this tree because we are going to have to say goodbye to Madison for a little bit. And we'll go over to her house later, probably tomorrow, because we have a few things that we need to get done. Now let's go ahead and put the tree skirt. I'm just going to keep the red and the gold consistent. Consistency, so let's add that on. This tree is super cute. I've never done the popcorn and the cranberries. It's like my first time doing it. And I love that she's decorating the tree with her friend. So cute. I need to do this one year with my friends. I always do it by myself because my um my fiance really isn't into the Christmas thing. Um, so yeah, I do it by myself. Let's see, red and white modern, white and gold starburst. Hmm. Let's do the modern one. I don't think I'd do that either. I think it's like a pointy thing because <laughs> I usually do the star, but um, let's see how it looks. Oh my god, this is going to be so cute. Hopefully they finish before she has to go to work. Oh my god, I love it. The tree skirt. I've never seen that one. This is so cute. I'm sorry I keep saying that, but it is. It's adorable. And I like that she's decorating the tree in her pajamas because same. <laughs> Who's fully dressed when they decorate the tree? Obviously Madison is going to be because she came over. <laughs> But, um, they're talking about something that's going to happen on later on this. They're talking about something that's going to happen later on in the episode. I'm not going to tell you guys just yet because I want to surprise you with it because I had a user make a comment and I was like, wow, I really do need to do something about that. <laughs> but, um, 
I'm going to let her go ahead and send her home because, you know, they finished wrap, I mean, decorating the tree and Aspen's at work. So hopefully Madison will see her way out because it's kind of awkward if she just stays here. Oh, she's thinking about going to the moon. What's she thinking about? Woohoo. <laughs> um, but yeah, the tree came out so cute. Now, since she is gone and everyone's at the house, I'm just going to um, check back with you guys here shortly. So yeah, I'll see you guys when Aspen gets home. Wow, this house got super messy super quickly. Um, now that I have this vacuum kit or whatever, it's very difficult to keep the house all in order. But um, yeah, let's vacuum a little bit and get everything tidied up. Now, the thing that we have Aspen doing in the morning is she is actually going to go to her ex-husband's house. They're actually not even divorced yet. There's, you know, divorce is a process and I felt like it would be very realistic to do that here in my LP. So they're going through the process of divorce. They're about to sign the papers and Edmund was kind of hesitant on doing it. Aspen, of course, she's like, you know, I want to get out of this situation. I don't want to be with you anymore. I want to be single, 100% single, like legally single. So yeah, he's been the one who's been hesitant on signing the paperwork, but he told her, he said, hey, can you come by? I have the papers. We can sign them and get done with the process. And, you know, Emmeline, she still lives there. They have their kid, and I think that we're going to meet the kid, too, so it's going to be really awkward, but um, they I don't know why they have this romantic interest. It's actually supposed to be negative, so <laughs> give me a second. I thought I changed that last time, but I am going to go ahead and cheat that right now because they are not romantically involved. It's a bad romance. <laughs> Maybe that was on his end because I know that he's still, like, wants Aspen around. I don't think that he cares about her like that, but he definitely wants her around. And I really hope that Aspen's yoga career can kick off soon because I hate this late night um, stay up that Aspen does most of the time. But let's have her come over here and spar a little bit. And then I'm going to have her grab something to eat, even though it's late. Maybe she should go to bed hungry. Yeah, let's just go to bed hungry because I don't want her to eat too late. And then we'll use the bathroom and head on to sleep. And I will let her, you know, rest up a little bit, get some breakfast in the morning, and I will see you guys then. Alrighty, we are up bright and early in the morning, and Aspen is, of course, starving. So I'm going to have her get some breakfast. I guess that's what she's doing. I have no idea what she's cooking. Vegetable chili. Oh my god, I would love some vegetable chili. That sounds really good. So she's in here whipping up her vegetable chili, and she's actually gotten really good at culinary because of her job. She's sweaty because she worked out before bed. So we're going to have her get in the shower after she eats something. I know she's starving. So let's hurry up with this chili and get it going. Oh my gosh, there's our arch enemy. Just kidding. Um, Hopefully they can understand each other soon. <laughs> Poor Nadia. She just got off on the wrong foot and she has no idea. Oh my god, here comes Leo. Is he coming over here? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> What does he want? No. <laughs> Yo, anyone up for getting their exercise on? Because I'm here to pump, clap you up. Pump you up. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. <laughs> should we should we ignore him? Invite him to join cookie? Decline workout? Oh, we're gonna decline. It's kind of awkward because you know she's trying to avoid him, so she's gonna be like, "Hey, you know, I don't, I don't really want to work out right now. I'm sorry. You know, I'm kind of busy right now. Why do you always just come over?" And he's like, "Fine, whatever. I'll just go back to bed, I guess." <laughs> but she's just, she's just been avoiding him because of that situation where she saw his ex. But you know. I think that he'll actually tell her very soon, like, hey, nothing was going on. You know, I'm really just trying to get to know you. I I still can't get over the fact that in the beginning of the episode, he asked her on a freaking date. Like, he likes her. Oh, my God. And I didn't cheat that. Like, you, as you guys can see here in their relationship, there is no flirtation. So he genuinely has a crush on her and he wants to take her out. Like, wait, what are we going to do? <laughs> But she's over here eating her vegetable chili. Let's go ahead and get in the shower because we do need to... Not a steamy shower. Oh, God. We're going to Edmund's house. We don't need to take a steamy shower. Let's take a thoughtful shower because we really need to get our head back in the game. And um, I love the fact that her Christmas tree is up. Oh, my God. Can we light the tree? Light controls. Oh, light the tree. Um, not with Amelia. Can I just light it by myself? <laughs> there we go. But yeah, I just love the fact that the Christmas tree is up and it's snowing outside because Christmas is coming up soon in real life. And, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm definitely a winter person, but let's have Aspen come over here and light her tree. Look at how beautiful it is. 
I love it. But we're going to go ahead and travel on over to Edmund's house and I will see you guys there. All right, guys, we are here and it is the moment of truth. Where's the front door? I thought that was the front door. Is this the front door? Okay, weird. <laughs> so um, we are here at Aspen's old house and she's feeling inspired. She's ready to get this over with. You know, she wants to sign these papers so she can be free and single. And it looks like the house is kind of in disarray. There's Valentine's Day decorations up and um, it's been a minute. It's been like a whole year. <laughs> like, what are you doing, Edmund? But let's go ahead and knock on the door. They haven't seen each other since she left the house. So this is going to be awkward. Oh my God. Wait a second. There's a whole bunch of like new bougie phone furniture in here. <laughs> and there's a huge flat screen TV. And ugh, it looks like Emmeline is just chilling on the couch. And she's just living her best life. Um, where's Edmund? Let's see if we can find him. I don't even know if he's actually home right now. That would be really awkward to be here. And he's not. Uh, oh, he's in the room with his daughter. Ooh. There he is. He looks stressed, guys. Oh my god. He, uh, he's he got bags under his eyes, so he's not really sleeping. As we can see downstairs, Emmeline is living her best life. And this little girl, she looks a little mean, doesn't she? <laughs> but she looks just like her father. That's crazy. And his hair is receding. Oh my god. He's so stressed. He's stressed because he's losing his hair. He's not had sleep. And it looks like he's put on a little bit of weight. So, oh, yeah. I don't think that he's winning in the um, situation of, you know, cheating on, cheer him up. I don't care how he feels, but yeah, I don't think he's winning in the situation of leaving Aspen, but let's come in here and we want to divorce you. Like we need to get this paperwork done. So she's a mean little girl. So let's argue about career and then let's see if we can have a kind of heated discussion. Um, let's see trash another some criticism woohoo techniques oh my god um what else should we do uh me what else can we say um order edmund to clean <laughs> yeah right let's just insult him and oh look at her looking at him he's mad too <laughs> So Aspen and Edmund are actually talking now in regards to the divorce papers and he's saying that he doesn't want to divorce her. He doesn't want to let her go. And he's like, you know, I, I made a mistake. And she's like, yeah, you made a mistake, but that's not my problem. You know, I want a divorce. I want to get this over with. And he's like, no, we're not going to divorce. I refuse to sign the paperwork. And she's like, how much do I have to pay to do this on my own? And he's like, you can't afford to pay this on your own. But you know, she's like, yeah, I, I definitely can. I'll figure it out on my own. But I'm not going to sit here and try to stay in a relationship with you, Edmund. I can't believe he doesn't want to divorce her. Like your whole girlfriend is downstairs. <laughs> you need to let me go. You have a whole child together. Look at that. <laughs> she's shocked. <laughs> she's like, this little girl looks just like him. Um, but Aspen is like, I just want to be divorced. Like, can we just put this behind us? I don't want to be with you anymore. And I want to move forward. Oh, she doesn't even want to hug her dad. <laughs> She's a mean little girl. Um, let's just yell at him. And it looks like his girlfriend is coming up here too. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Aspen. Aspen's trying to sign the paperwork online because she saw it pulled up on the website. And she's like, hey, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and put my signature here. Just please send the letter forward so that way we can be divorced and have it done and over with because I'm just, I'm ready to move on with my life. So he's feeling sad. I don't feel bad for him. Like at all. None of me feels bad for him. <laughs> but Aspen's like, hey, yeah, put my signature down, you know, just go ahead and send it forward because I'm, I'm ready to move on. Like I've said a million times and I just don't want to do this anymore. And we're going to go ahead and travel away on that note. We're actually going to go to, like I said, our friend Madison's house. We had told her we would come hang out with her. So we're going to go ahead and head on over to her house. So we are here at Madison's. I told her that I would come over after I was done at Edmonds. I cannot believe that he does not want to sign the divorce papers. Like he doesn't want to let Aspen go. Oh my God. <laughs> we were thinking about woohoo. <laughs> Madison must be having a good life at home now. Oh, oh, is this her man? Stop guys. This is the first time you all are seeing her boo. He is attractive. Oh my God. What's his name? Spencer. He's so cute. Now let's come over here and let's just, I'm just going to sit down and get to know her and give her a hug. Oh, she's so happy to see. Oh, they're good friends. <laughs> That's so cute. Now let's sit down and get to know her and just talk to her about, you know, what happened. 
she's going to be like, hey, Edmund did not want to, you know, divorce me. I asked him to, and he just refuses. So like, what, what should I do? What's the next step? And you know, Madison's in business. She's heard a lot of stories about people getting divorced. And she's like, girl, I think that you can do this on your own. I don't think that you need his permission to be divorced. I think that there's a way around this, but he, I think he has to come to the terms with the fact that you don't want to be in a relationship with him anymore. I'm not too sure how it works, but I'm sure that you can figure something out. Like Madison's never been in a marriage before so she doesn't really have all the information but she's like there should definitely be a way around this you know and aspen's like yeah you're right and oh my god i want to go play with her kitty cats can i play with her cats <laughs> no we're not going to chat with him because because of my mods she might end up flirting with him so i'm going to walk over here and just introduce myself to her little cats guys she has three so down here we have her oldest cat mango who is an elder and then over here we have her cute kitty boomer he is so cute look at his little face i love it and then where's the third cat the third cat is a kitten so it might be a little hard for me to find the kitten oh no it's out here its name is niffler guys you want to see it he is so cute or she it's she it's a girl Look at Niffler. Oh my god, playing in the snow. So cute. I love her. Oh, I want a cat. <laughs> but Aspen's definitely not a cat person, so we won't be getting a cat. But those kitties are so cute. And the little kitten. Oh my god. The fact that it's playing in the snow. <laughs> I love it. But Aspen's just coming over to introduce herself to the cats. Like, hello. Hi. How's it going? You know, me and your mommy are friends. <laughs> I like that she's just playing with, um... Madison's cats. <laughs> now, you know, she is close to all the other girls in the group, but like I said, she's just really close to Madison and she likes her. So that's why we've only been to her house first, but I need to go ahead and move the other girls into their homes as well so we can visit them on separate days also. But uh, it's so nice to like see where her friend lives and just to see like her home life and everything. I want to see the rest of the house. So this is the downstairs. Very cute, very homey, exactly the way I expected Madison's house to look, honestly. And then upstairs, it looks like we have Madison's room and there's like a guest room. So I guess this is where her now fiance was sleeping before, you know, they, they got a little close. <laughs> and over here we have the bathroom with a washer and a dryer. Oh my God. It's so cute. I love it. Um, and then this, I guess this is, uh, what is this? Oh, it's a little garden. I love that. I didn't know that Madison was into gardening. That's cool. I like it. I love the windows too. That's cute. A little greenhouse. I said garden, <laughs> a little greenhouse. But, um, yeah, so Madison didn't really have much to say in regards to Aspen's situation because she's, like I said, never been in that position before, but she's a hundred percent sure if we do our research, maybe we can find a way around this and we can do this on our own. So we're going to give her a hug and we're going to head on home because, you know, I wanted to practice my yoga a little bit. And, um, yeah, maybe Leo even might come over because she feels bad. She has been, you know, avoiding him a lot and she wants to talk to him and discuss possibly, you know, what had happened from the jump start. So let's go home and try to repair our friendship with him. It's already 2.55 in the afternoon, so hopefully he's not at work, but I'll see you later, Madison. I'll text you and probably call you later tonight. And she's like, okay, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I love their little friendship because Madison's so quiet and then Aspen's so outgoing. It's really cute. <laughs> so Aspen texted Leo while she was on her way home and look at the way he is looking at her. Oh my God, guys, can we just like, can they just be together already? Um, she texted him on her way home and she was like, Hey, I want to talk to you. Can you come over? And she looks happy to see him as well. So I'm going to have her go to the bathroom really quickly. And then she's like, Hey, I'll be right back, Leo. Oh my God. He's so playful. It's cute. Did she like that? She did. <laughs> I love their little relationship, how they kind of joke with each other and they're so playful, but we're going to go sit down and then we'll come back in here and talk to him. Our roommate, I guess, is giving us our space. That's so sweet. Hey, no, no, no. Come back. Come back. Oh, crap. <laughs> I don't want him to wander too far because, you know, when the Sims do this, you lose them. So let's go ahead and share photos with him and get them in a conversation and then bring him back over here so we can kind of, you know, so I can get him to talk to her. <laughs> go get Leo. Oh, that's so cute. Madison wants to hang out tonight. 
I would, but we're going to be talking to Leo. So maybe another time, Madison. That's so cute. They love each other. Little cute friends. <laughs> and I'm sure that did not make Nadia happy. As you can see, she looked off and she saw her brother go into Aspen's apartment. But look at him. He's giving her the side eye too. He's like, God, my sister's so annoying. But let's have a deep conversation with Leo. And Aspen's going to go ahead and ask him about his day. Like, how's your day been? You know, I'm sorry I've been avoiding you. There's a reason for it. And we're going to have a deep conversation with him and just ask him, hey, you know, why was your ex-girlfriend over there if you don't mind me asking? He's like, my day's been good. And he's like, you know, it wasn't anything serious. She was actually at my house because she was picking up the rest of her stuff. So, oh my God, can you, can you go away, please? <laughs> can you go away? <laughs> But he's like, she was just picking up the rest of her stuff. We don't have anything going on. And she's like, I thought that you guys were, you know, hooking up. And his face is like, hooking up. Like, <laughs> no, I was not hooking up with her. He's like, don't you realize I like you? That's why I've been like asking you out on a date and everything. She's like, are you serious? You, you like me? <laughs> And he's like, of course I like you, Aspen. You know, we have such a good time together and you've really changed my life. And it's just been really fun hanging out with you. You know, I had to get rid of the trash, you know, before I had you in my life. And she's like, gosh, you talk too much. Like, <laughs> she's joking with him. And he's like, yeah, I know. But let's go ahead and talk. He's like, so how about that date? Can I actually take you out on a date very soon? It doesn't have to be anything serious like a sit down dinner, but let's just go out and, you know, have fun, joke around and just have a good time. And Aspen's like, you know what? I like that. Like, let's go ahead and go on a date. We can take it slow, right? Because I don't want to rush into anything. I want to just pace myself. And he's like, of course we can take it slow. And she's like, well then, yeah, let's, let's go on a date soon. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode right here. I hope you enjoyed I'm sorry I was a little frantic and jittery too. I just had some coffee, so I'm just ugh. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. In the next episode, we will be celebrating Winterfest and we will be going on our date with Leo. And yeah, I'm just super excited. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like it, comment, and yeah, let me know what you're thinking down below. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye guys.